Hope this is one of the good oil runs. Is this backstory? Where did it go wrong for you, Oiran? We're a fan of reading on this channel. Death! <laughs> I don't know. Death to all humanity. What an honor. <laughs> what a bundle of happiness and friendship this is. Oh, this is a good Oiran. This is not a flashback. This is Tanjiro's house of happiness. Tanjiro's having a great time. He, like, doesn't know why he's here anymore. He's just leaning into this domestic life. Reminds him of the old days when he used to tie everyone's shoelaces in his home village. He chopped a lot of wood. Was the town psychologist. Sort of a jack of all trades. And a little touch of family in there, too. Another arc where Tanjiro has a sweet dream <laughs> that he might want to stay in. It is sort of hilarious that in this arc so far, Inusuke and Zenitsu especially are, like, fighting for their lives and fighting the good Hashiro fight. Tanjiro... Meanwhile, it's just settling in, creating a community. That's a fanfic right there, an alternate path for Tanjiro, hypothetical universe. He just works as an entertainer. I'm sure he'd be great at it, like he's good at everything. Episode 4, tonight. Uh-oh, is this the night it happens? <laughs> it's, what do you call it, the disappearing, vanishing with the money. Ashinuke, yeah, that. <laughs> That's major disrespect, throwing your abacus. Yeah, this guy's at the end of his rope. He's totally powerless. Don't interrupt my sweet fantasy. He's already here. He's a Hashira. Look at them veins. He, uh... いや、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Happiness is rarely unpunished in anime. It's an abundance of happiness. Don't say that. You just doomed yourself. Oh! Surprise! I'm a dude. No reaction? They're really committed to this this is a girl idea. Still. <laughs> They've been working at night so long they have lost their eyes. Oh, that's a huge relief. Yeah, you would think, right? Right, okay. Some faith restored. <laughs> why, would no, why would anyone not know? Oh, Ashinaru? Ah. Right. Yeah, she's got relationships here. Well, you're in pretty good hands with Tanjiro. Thank you for making this time here so lovely and enjoyable. You're in, in grave danger, I feel. And there is the grave danger, just seeping in like a hot, slightly hotter best genist. You did this to yourself by being happy. I'm gonna say something that is astoundingly obvious, but it's sort of just connecting for me. The thought keeps coming to mind that because this demon has a central location, if you're really committed and, you know, you want to be really brazen about it and have the capabilities to pull this off, which I feel like they probably would, you locate her in the daytime, maybe when she's sleeping, and you, like, destroy the house so that she's melted by the sun. And that's just, you know, a passing thought, but then from there it occurred to me that that's why Tanjiro is such a threat. He has the power of the sun. I know I'm a little bit late on that, but better late than never. This could all <laughs> pop off at any moment. <laughs> Soichiro. That's a cute one. Was that supposed to be such hearts ablaze? What? What am I looking at? What in the world? This is a power he has? He can train mice to be his body improvement club and carry his swords? This opens up some weird Snow White sort of doors. Again, how did you not know? Okay. <laughs> Oh, he knows. There's a demon living here, she sucks. And he's gone. Bold him just walk in like that. A plus ninja running. Alright, she can't go far. Oh, they're face to face. Alright, she's aware of their presence. She's more prepared than they are, in so many ways. Oh, she's still alive! It's like a some kind of snake. I see. She eats them through the cloth. No wasted time. Not at all. Just attack. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's sort of hilarious. Let's not forget who she is and what she is. He didn't directly fight Akaza either. He didn't fully feel it, even though he experienced it. He's like running through the progression, like checking himself, checking for status. Right, so I, I guess she's not going to live? Can you reverse it? What just happened? Oh yeah, he landed on the box. I feel like a real terror for Tanjiro in this, because... I mean, this is great, but, like, she's not really fighting him, she's trying to eat his eyes. <laughs> Damn, that's cool. Nice! Oh, she's a little bit, a little bit pissed! Was that all that was remaining of that lady? Is that her? Yikes. It was the, the gas canister shoes for me. Yeah, that is her. So can she be unfabriced? 
Speaking of things popping off, here we are suddenly in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Maybe this is the one thing we got going for us? Like, she's not taking him seriously at all. That thought just weakened him severely. Yeah, you sort of can't be halfway at all. She doesn't fully know what she's dealing with. That's like, that's the edge, right? There's information asymmetry here. He knows how deadly she is. He's had experiences with upper demons. She's never had experience with the Tanjiro. Oh, this has a lot more significance now. Into the breeze it floats off. <laughs> These things... That's not the Taisho Secret. <laughs> okay, more mice. How much more flashy can they get than muscular mice? So this episode escalated things a lot faster than I thought they would. Tanjiro suddenly is face to face with an upper ranked demon. This could be one of those instances of having an initial encounter that sets the stage for a final encounter because we have a lot of arc left relative to how long these arcs are. But who knows? In the Mugen Train arc, Akaza sort of came out of nowhere at the end, so there's a whole bunch of ways this can go, not limited even to Muzan showing up. It's exciting to have this confrontation, but also all the players sort of lurking in the wings. We got Inusuke and Tengen, who is surely going to play a vital role. And we also get a rescue Zenitsu. Is Zenitsu now a piece of cloth? 